Hey everybody, it's Eric Johnson from Airtaith Rose In today's video, we are gonna talk about what are three things we think that helps Daniel Stahl throw 71-37. Big news, so check it out. Okay guys, so we're back and keeping on kind of this off season theme, we gotta do to shift gears. COVID obviously crushed everybody's 2020 season. There are some pro meets happening in Europe and there are some huge performances. So Daniel Stahl, big congratulations to Daniel Stahl, second best throw of his career. So congrats to Coach V and Daniel on another great performance. Really exciting, the world lead. And again, 71-37, massive throw. Stahl looks great. And we're gonna talk about, again, three things. We talked about three things to getting you to 70 feet in the shot breaking those barriers and we're going to talk about are some of the things that we see in the same way happening with here with Daniel Stahl how do you get over 70 meters but how do you start throwing far on a consistent basis and start getting yourself moving so we're going to again put things kind of in our context of our six pillar system we plug Daniel in again the system is designed to teach you how to see and understand and throw to learn and find the things that are gonna work and help you get better faster. So here we go, let's take a look. Um, Daniel, again, he's a big dude and he is super strong and super athletic. So, you know, this is a guy that's probably what, he's right about 6'8", and he weighs 340 pounds or so. So just a, just a giant man. Again, I think one of the things that goes on here, what trumps everything, Stahl is rocking the beard. But in all seriousness, one of the things we look at is he's a big guy and he maximizes those levers. So look at the, look at the length that gets set up. You see how he's gonna wind, set that position, and then you're gonna see that same length right from here to here. You see how he's maintaining that length. So we always talk about in our system, we want a long setup, so we're gonna have a long entry. And this is all part of getting on balance. Notice that length, that's a great counterbalance. When you see the left arm counterbalancing the discus, he's gonna be setting up a really nice radius and, a, and he's setting up a really nice orbit. So you see that high point here, and you notice that as he comes along, we talk about this. The first pillar we talk about setting up. The second pillar we talk about is setting up maximum power. That's getting the axis to rotate around and so the thrower can drive into the throw. And this is one of the things that clearly Stahl does extremely well. And if you notice uh, with Coach Veston's athletes, they all have similar looking technique. Again, I think that's the thing. Coach V has a system. So you're gonna notice when you look at any kind of coach, they're gonna have a system. All coaches have a system. One of the things that I think uh, Coach V talks about is you know keeping level, level shoulders and level hips. And you can see that Stahl does that very well. And then he's gonna be able to move around that axis. Again, we call that pillar two, he's set, and then pillar three is dropping in. You're gonna notice that Stahl really does create that nice sprint, he's really moving in. And you notice again, our two level lines of these guys staying here, you're gonna notice that shoulders and hips, again, are pretty level. What's the key of all this? How do we simplify it? We've gotta get on balance. So we set up our start, is one of the things we talked about and we get on balance. So once we get on balance, now speed is able to be created because now you can actually come out of that. Imagine a sprinter coming out of the box and if he's leaning to the side, he's gonna be stumbling. He can't be efficient in that linear motion forward. If the hips are going this way and they're trying to go this way, you're not gonna be able to create a sprint. That's the same thing in the rotational throws. The hips have to be moving in that linear position to the center of the circle. So you're gonna notice that here. One of the things that we've, we've seemed to think that looks a little different is Stahl has, in my opinion, on this throw, he has a little bit wider sweep than he has had in some of his previous years. And I think this looks exciting because this to me looks like he's throwing huge throws really effortlessly. He's banging 68 meters, 69 meters, 70. This is the second time over 70 meters this year. He just the next day after this 71 meter throw, the very next day within 24 hours, basically throws 69 meters. And rumor has it that there was a foul over 70 as well. So a slight foot foul. So this guy's on fire, throwing extremely well, and it's gonna be really exciting. So the point is here is as he comes through the sprint, you're gonna see that once you create that linear motion and you're able to create speed and everything's moving efficiently, you're gonna notice that Stahl is able to, how this his sprint slash block leg, you notice how as the foot touches down, look at how much the left 
is with him. A lot of times there's something we call the back end where you see young throwers and you'll see young throwers and what they'll do is they're gonna back in. So they're kind of turning one side and they're leaving the leg back. They're not moving the whole system of the hips. And that's one of the things, again, um, having met and gotten the opportunity to speak to Coach V about how they kind of train, he's looking at that, that level hip and shoulder position, something we've included in our system, you know, that we've, we've taught for a lot of years as well, but just using different vernacular. I think Coach V's is very easy, you know, concept to grasp. It makes total sense. But if you don't set up this position here correctly, that's going to be very difficult to maintain level because if the hips are falling across the circle then you're going to have the athlete you're going to have diverging force and you need converging energy in the throw and that's what creates speed so again once we create balance you're going to see stall is extremely balanced great tension you're going to notice this next piece that he sets up you're going to see everything pretty level. Notice that length again that we saw in the beginning of the throw. He's maintaining that throughout the throw. And then right here, he's going to come around and then you're going to see, you're going to see this position. We talked about this with Valerie Allman and you see here's that 70 meter. Look at that, that axis and look at how everything squares up. So this is going to enable everything how we get that vertical axis so that we can generate power. We call this pillar five, and this is now he's creating blazing speed. Now he's gonna be able to rotate and take the throw out. And again, you're gonna see the block arm, is see it, it's long, it stops. He's gonna have the shoulder stop, the block stop here, and then everything is moving out and around and he's creating that really nice long path. You see that discus is right on the tip of that arrow. So the keys again, how does he get there? This is our opinion. Again, what we're looking at is this is a tremendous throw. We're not trying to say, oh, he should do this or he should do that. We're trying to say, we think this is what they're doing. These are the key biomechanical points. You see these are good looking positions, why they're happening. And generally, that's going to be the most important thing as you're a developing thrower to understand a lot of these core things. How are you going to get on balance? How are you going to create speed? When those things happen in your balance, you're going to be able to come through and typically smash the delivery. And that's what you're seeing pretty consistently with Saul. He's throwing these big throws week in and week out, and it's really cool to see. So that's our kind of our rundown. Again, huge congrats to Daniel and Coach V and Global Throwing. And again, with a year where we've had such limited competitions to watch and everybody lost seasons, it's really a nice uh, relief to get some of these types of results and see these things happening. And really excited when the season can get back to normal. Congrats to those guys. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to give us a thumbs up, comment below, share this video too, give a little love out there. And we will see you guys on the next video.